Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Full Men of Alchemist Brotherhood. My name is Jack the Bus. You can call me I Shinobi. Today we have Flame of Vengeance. Now, I don't even have time to recap everything that's happened in the last couple of episodes. I mean, you know, the Armstrong brother and sister fighting Sloth, Mustang meeting back up with Ed and all them, Al taking on Pride and uh, Kimbley, Pride eating Kimbley after the fight and becoming even more powerful. Everything's coming to this big climax. I'm excited to hop into the next episode. I heard the Flame Alchemist turned enemy of the state. Are you sure about that? You got a radio in here? Quick! Turn it on to Radio Capital. Hurry! You got a radio? You aren't gonna believe what's going on. There's it's never a straight up war. On that station. Just turn it on! Brother, Before turn it on. The shuts down the broadcast. Do I understand you correctly, Mrs. Bradley? The Mrs. Bradley? Oh. That's right. Our own military. They attempted to have me killed. Oh! oh! They're just straight up airing you, it. Someone gave out that order? They actually pointed their guns at you? They did. Dang! They specifically said to shoot me and Colonel Mustang's men. Fuhrer Bradley went east to preside over a military exercise. Oh my to return god. To it would seem that an official took advantage of his absence in order to stage a coup. That I do not know. Nope. Is that really Mrs. Bradley? I imagine you must be relieved that your son is traveling with his father. Oh. I haven't been able to contact my son. She's probably <laughs> seen as like the mom the of, you know, the country. <laughs> I sure hope little Salim's all right. Little Salim. A coup d'etat. He's doing okay, I promise. If Colonel Mustang hadn't saved me, I'm certain they would have killed me. Oh, his name's like... It sounds as though Colonel Mustang was expecting... Did he say Mustang? His name's like clear now. Do you think you could describe the exact details of your... Havoc's like, heck yeah. She doesn't know Salim's a homunculus? Don't you think that someone should tell her? How can we? We still haven't even told her that Fear Bradley is missing. They haven't told her that Fear of Bradley is literally part of the reason There's of all this. There's something we haven't told Mrs. Bradley yet, but she needs to hear it. Oh, the Fuhrer shoot. was returning to Central, but his train was blown up. We have yet to find him. <gasps> Are they not going to explain anymore? Mrs. Bradley. She's understandably a little overwhelmed by the news this we all just radio received. broadcaster? About that, what exactly did you mean when you said that you have yet to find the Fuhrer? Well, he's evil. Well, you so. should know this first. The Colonel suspected the senior staff of foul play, and he's expected them to make a move for some time now so with the Fuhrer's train having been bombed and the orders given to assassinate mrs bradley his suspicions were confirmed someone's attempting to overthrow the government they're still Listen, not uh they're fool. still not pinning it on bradley that broadcast shut down do you have any idea the damage <laughs> that this is causing i only wish it was that easy sir they've taken the whole studio hostage we're sitting here with guns pointed at our heads we're lucky that we're still alive oh, they don't care at all oh my god Put Mustang on the phone. I want to speak to that <laughs> trainer directly. Uh, trainer, Mustang, yeah, okay, please, buddy. Um... Uh... <laughs> don't shoot. No, don't shoot me outside. Give this man an Oscar. Oh my God, give this man an Oscar. Absolutely amazing <laughs> acting. <laughs> How MVP of the award? show. <laughs> you should win an award. Back to it. What did Don't I say? Broadcasting. So Colonel Mustang isn't behind the uprising? Those of us giving our support to Colonel Mustang <sighs> may be few. Recognize that, that voice. That voice. Stop us from protecting the legacy of the Fuhrer. <laughs> we'll do everything we can to stop these traitors in the name of justice. Oh. <laughs> that's so <laughs> sweet. I like how he instantly <laughs> recognized her voice too. Taking advantage of the Fuhrer's absence and using his influence any way you like to suit your needs and invoking the name of justice at that let's keep our fingers crossed Dang. The public accepts it just straight up like finesse and that last bit everyone's willing to fight for justice so i said it that's right and in this war it belongs to us mm -hmm. roy mustang is telling the truth we've just arrived in oh. central from east of mistress this is fallen the wreckage of the fuhrer's train with our own eyes the leader of your country is missing and no one has even informed you yet our fuhrer could be dead for uh. all we know. why would they keep all of us in the dark about that is a very a good the point that they wouldn't tell yeah that they wouldn't tell people oh people are more they're eating it up baby the part about them feeling bad for Salim though still Salim's like the little little baby child so that was like the Ishvalans they're like they're arriving telling them what's happening this outside source than we expected they're on foot I doubt they have that much firepower we have a transmission from the garrison you should see the ice you cream or it's this. like a taco truck now right I'm checking in i want a detailed rundown now go ahead the brick soldiers they actually have it uh, 
Hey, oh my god. Happening? Oh, the brave soldiers are freaking intense, sir, though. Is everything okay? <laughs> they literally I mean, murder people. We are going to lose the main gate to them, are we, sir? Of course not. That's impossible. They need a tank to breach the main gate. He's gonna have a. <laughs> Oh my god! Is that from Briggs? Oh, there was a Maybe tank at Briggs, wasn't ahead. there? That's what they Full used to get slot the first time. You just managed to make new friends everywhere you go. And old ones, too. I can't help but think of the last time we were here, Lieutenant. As I recall, you were crying over me. Shame I don't get to see that softer side of you more often. Good times. The last thing I'm gonna do is start crying for you now. Water makes him useless. <laughs> <laughs> the little Take sweat drop on him. Kill these things! Hey, don't you dare give me orders! He's right! Just start shooting at these white guys! No, save your ammo! Bullets won't even slow him down! Yeah. Not again! How else do we kill them? Not again! They're so, I'm used to bullets not being an option! No, they aren't healing themselves, but they're not dying either. It's gotta gotta obliterate them. Like stones. Fire! Oh, oh, Fireworks oh, really well yeah. against them? Just burn them up. Yeah, it's a just nothingness if they can't even kill themselves. Dude, the immense skill to wrap around certain people and others not. That's crazy, man. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, they've been fighting him off for so long. They he just walks enemy. in and snaps. It had to be done. <laughs> Everybody's got to be reminded of how powerful Stop Mustang really is. Around, damn it. I love Envy the chasing her. To go this way, and that she is stronger down here. I knew it. This is a good friendship, despite Envy wanting to kill her. Oh. He's gonna fall into the. How close is this to the father's lair? Oh, they're like really close to them. Panda. Oh, but Envy's in there is now. Oh, this is where they're gonna fight Envy, isn't it? I think they could definitely take Not Envy on guys. with all of them together. Why didn't you go back to Shane? Someone said it. I was waiting for it. I thought I just wanted to forget it. Don't, Don't yell at her. Please forgive me. I so forgive you. Blah. Poor kid. Typical whiny humans. You guys really made a serious mess down here. <laughs> So we've got the full metal alchemist and the flame alchemist and mm -hmm. there's even Scar and I've got a serious grudge with you filthy Camara. Look at Scar just standing so, there. <laughs> who gets the pleasure of being first to die? Your Envy, right? Yeah, no shot Envy can You're take all of them on. who can change his appearance at will. You've heard of me. I'm flattered. Nice to meet you, Kurt. I'm flattered. Hold on. You're teaming up with him, Scar? You do know that he helped reduce Ishval to a hell on earth. Scar's I'm reformed. He understands his place in the world. What? Now. You're friends now? <laughs> you guys are no fun at all. I love what Envy's confusion. What happened to trying to crush each other's windpipes? You obviously want to kill each other, so do it. Envy, this isn't going to work. I'm sorry. We aren't going to be the pawns in your Too much character development. Anymore. Really? You know humans love to watch other people suffer while making fools of themselves. I mean, why else would you constantly be at war with each other? Mm. There really is nothing quite like watching fools dig their own graves. Ooh. Especially the whistle? when that fool is an arrogant homunculus who's too stupid to see what he's doing. Oh? I've humored you long enough, so how about you answer a question of mine? Oh, God. <laughs> I want you to tell me who killed Maze Hughes. Oh. I want the truth. Homunculus. Oh. I mean, no point in being not. Lost it. Isn't that why you burned her to death? Shut up. I know that she didn't kill him. Don't play huh? stupid games. You mean to tell me that you scorched an innocent girl to a pile of ashes? Nicely done, you monster. Wow, Envy, you do not understand. Did you cry when you told them? Or did you sit back quietly and endure their outrage? Quit running your mouth, you idiot. Maria Ross is alive. I'm sick of you, homuncula, giving me the runaround when I ask you this question. Tell me the truth or I'll burn it out of you, you worthless scum. Sorry, Envy, you just gotta own up now. And as soon as you do, you're Dunzo McBunzo, fam. <laughs> I'm gonna make him mad. Congratulations, Colonel Mustang. You finally hunted down your culprit. <laughs> You're saying that you killed Hughes? I doubt a moron like you could pull that off. Oh. <laughs> moron? Tell me who the real moron is here. 
Because I don't think it's me. In the final form? I prefer to use that term for someone who falls for a cheap trick like this. Oh my god! <laughs> You should see your face! That was the same look on you's face when I shot him! You could see every emotion he felt as his own wife shot him! Uh, it was great! Yo, Envy, you about to get burnt to That's a crisp, enough. ma'am. You were stupid enough to confess, and even more stupid to boast. Everything you've said is fuel on your funeral pyre. Fuel? So I'll... then, I think I'll begin by burning out your tongue! Oh my god! Oh my Yo, if you don't know like who Mustang is apparently, because my this man literally just took out every single one of like the the brain dead soldiers. Stand down, all of you. I'm dealing with this. This is a one v one. Let's keep moving and find this father guy. <laughs> like, okay, let's go. I don't remember giving you permission to leave. I still owe you some pain and misery for what you did. <laughs> Was, I just heard the snap. Our conversation is the only one that should concern you. <laughs> oh my god. How quickly the tongue can be rendered to a bubbling grease. The actually? It's surprising how easy it burns, isn't it? You really think the two of you Edward, can... just go. Oh my go. god. <laughs> Must be scary, bro. The lieutenant said go, Elric. You've got more important matters to deal with. True. Envy's like, y'all go ahead. This won't even be a challenge for him. That's not exactly what I'm worried about. You've been rather dogged in your pursuit of you's killer. You're a true friend to the very oh. end. Ah! And me. Oh. Okay, so it's generally the same form we've seen. Looks a little bit bigger. There's the heads returning. God, I hate this form so much, man. I hate it. For your tireless quest for vengeance, I'll give you the fight you're looking for. So you better give it all. See, like I said, this man wasted no time. What's it like having the fluid inside of your eyes boil? I'd imagine it might sting a little. Damn you! What was Ed worried about? I can't believe you give me a bigger target. I think that size would increase your chance of winning. <laughs> Stand up, monster. Go on and regenerate yourself. Maybe You'll he's he's worried that Mustang will be too right. confident. How can I forget? He's the one who incinerated Lust to death. Yeah. He's the one that completely obliterated Lust, bro. Is Envy running? You coward! Cardinal. Oh my you here, god. Lieutenant. I'm going to take care of him myself. <laughs> Look at how Envy run! Oh, Mustang, don't go out of your element, man. These tubes are like veins, and the further we get, the more it feels like I've got a bad case of heartburn. Not Weirdly surprised. specific analogy. There's a strong mass I don't know if that's analogy. You know how you can feel a crowd's fear before a disaster? It's like that, but it's far worse. The panda looks so really mad. But it sure is scaring the hell out of me. <laughs> this is the last place I'd want to run into that father guy. I love these chimeras, bro. They're very wholesome. Scar, I need to talk to you. It's about the flame alchemist, isn't it? Hmm? It wasn't that long ago that I was a monster. Oh. The way he's headed, he will destroy himself in the flames of hatred. Hmm. And it's doubtful that he will ever recover. Man. And I mean, seeing Envy act like that, especially about Hughes' death, it's gotta be rough, man. I think Ed's gonna go... He's gonna Come overplay his hand. Otherwise, I'm gonna ignite your bone marrow. <gasps> Roy, <what's up? gasps> Stupid human. He won't oh my god. <laughs> That's so what's horrible. You? you didn't even hesitate to incinerate your best friend. It's not dead. him. That's a fact. His <laughs> eyes. His image. You must be a glutton for punishment. A glutton for punishment. Jesus. This is so sad. God in me. The voice acting. No one told you that I can do pinpoint aiming. Because I can. Oh my god. This man is an absolute savage. I'm sorry, but I can't wait. You gotta get in there and ground him. You're not getting away. 
Oh, oh, she's gonna. Someone's gonna find her. Oh, I feel like Envy's gonna take her hostage, and he's gonna have to make a choice or something. And that's gonna be like him overplaying his hand because he probably could have finished Envy at this point. He just wants. He just wants Envy to suffer. Oh no. I told you to stay behind, Lieutenant. That's Envy. I'm sorry, but I couldn't just sit there, sir. That's Envy. Where's Envy? Oh my God. Has places like a labyrinth. You have you to well know, Mustang. Now that you're here. Stay right by my side, Lieutenant. Oh. Why would Envy hesitate? Oh my god, why would Envy hesitate? Wouldn't Envy just like straight up shoot him? What an episode, dude. We see this this new side of Mustang that's like just hell bent on getting revenge for the death of the death of Hughes that like as he's been holding on to this for so long. You can clearly see he's saying all the things that he's wanted to say to whoever murdered him. He's really going overboard. I thought it was gonna build it up a little bit more, and maybe they would have run into and he would have like had to pick like who was the real one. I don't really know. Guys, insane build up, like I said. We're getting all these loose ends tied up, which is really nice. And just everything kind of coming to a close and finding the finality and finale and everything. And the dude, not even to mention the radio broadcast, basically announcing to the world that Mustang is, is on the good side of everything. And the, the people obviously believe it. They haven't really con gone to the point of saying, yeah, uh, I'm, uh, most of this was actually Fear of Bradley. But I think it's going to build up to that. Guys, that's been it for another episode of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I hope you guys did enjoy. We'll be back soon with another one. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day as per usual. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, peace.